Hey guys, Jeremy here. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, this is a little video of three shoots I did last week. A little commentary, a little behind the scenes. Um, like, comment, subscribe. It's a longer video, so thanks for staying tuned and uh, hope to see you soon. goes out and kind of tells what they're doing in their research or development. It's pretty cool. So right now we're setting up the um, Rapid Box Duo. Rapid Box Duo, this whole two speed lights. This thing is freaking amazing. Super easy to set up. weird talking to myself out here. So we're going to use a spider belt. I use a spider belt instead of um, any traditional neck straps um, in conjunction with the spider hand strap which is freaking awesome. Um, Canon used to make them. I don't even think they make theirs anymore. I think they discontinued it. But spider has our holster system that's kind of wrapped around. Um, amazing stuff. If you guys need any reviews on anything let me know. I'll do a special review on that. Um, I've seen a ton online already which is how I learned about things. Uh, but I'm happy to do one from my point of view, only if you guys want to see it. And since this is like my second video ever, that you guys haven't existed yet. There's like nobody. <laughs> it's, it's just who I think is watching me. Which is a little sad, actually. Alright, so I shoot with the Canon 5D Mark III. Dual slots in this bad boy. I shoot the both slots at the same time. So the cool thing about that is I shoot with smaller uh, compact flash cards, CF cards, and then I shoot with um, larger SD cards. So when I actually go to upload um, into my computer, I only upload the uh, SD cards. That's all I need to do, rather than wait for my cards to switch out. And if anything happens to the CF cards, which I feel are more finicky, um, I can just trash them. Boom. So we're getting this on here.
So, fairly easy shoot today. We're gonna be shooting with a cyber knife, which you guys will see in a bit. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Maybe I'll have them explain it while they're there. They've told me a few times, but I'm just not that good at listening to things or remembering. It's time to go in. <laughs> That's what she said. So, the only problem I've had with this um, What's Called Rapid Box Duo so far is the little tripod holder thing loosens itself as we walk. Uh, if you notice, I haven't touched it from when we set it up. It was straight up. And it feels tight, but then it loosens itself off the weight of the Rapid Box itself. So I'm not sure if that's my thing or if it's this thing. If you have one, let me know if you have the same problems. Um, I'm probably not going to email them on something so small. I'll wait for something big to happen to it and then um, give a few questions, but it's not something I would send in just for that. Uh, if you do tight enough, it'll it should be fine. All right, guys, so here's a little bit of um, behind the scenes. Instead of doing the full audio, I thought I'd just do a little recording at the end. Um, this is a commercial shoot for St. Mary's. So um, this is the third time we've done it, so I've kind of seen what they've wanted out of this shoot. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going for. So we have the patient and we have our doctor. Um, these do have a connection with each other already, so I wanted to use that. So this simple uh, start to the shoot is just to kind of get them warmed up. Basically have them laughing, looking, talking at each other, um, telling a little story to each other as I'm kind of interrupting, looking at me, looking at each other. A very simple process. Um, the whole time my lighting is all the same, my shutter, my aperture, everything's the same. I'm just focusing on shooting them. So I had it all locked in from the beginning. Um, if you guys saw, the cool thing with the um, Yang Luo system, uh, with the um, trigger that sits on top of my hot shoe, opposed to the Canon's version, is that there's a little red beam that shoots out. This red beam uh, is to help with uh, focus, especially at night, which is amazing. Canon doesn't have one on theirs for some reason, so this alone is amazing, and it's like a third of the price, uh, so it's great. So we're shooting them, again, different location. The um, machine is behind them, the, the cyber something machine is behind them. And my focus is kind of the room, trying to get away from little signs in the background. I'm shooting fairly tight with a um, 35 millimeter here, and I'm angling all my shots um, to the right, so I'm tilting my hand down to the right just a little bit to give it more of that commercial look. Uh, I just like it better, and I'm shooting everything at, I want to say f2 or f2.8 to blur out the background just a little bit. Um, my style of shooting is non-stop talking, joking, laughing. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm fairly quick. I know what I need to get. At this point, I've probably already gotten what I needed. Now I'm just trying to use up their time. Um, you know, they took time out to be here, so I want to make sure that I'm shooting enough. So they don't just walk in, not like a yearbook photo, you know, where you just walk in, grab your shot, next person up. I want to. I want them to feel like they actually took their time out for some reason. Um, right now we're just doing some individual headshots of the doctor. We'll do some of the patient. Uh, we'll see where they add this to the book. Um, some of these shots will make it, some won't. It's uh, a lot of shooting, a lot of editing, and then littles to be used. So we'll keep it kind of simple. I'll let you guys kind of watch the rest of this and I'll get back to you on the next shoot. So our patient is now outside. You see Jasmine over there to the right, who's my St. Mary's marketing rep, um, who books me and her and another person, Jamie, are amazing. They found me one day and um, I thank them for everything they do for St. Mary's. So now we have the patient outside. Um, my trigger's off, we're going full natural light. And right now we're just giggling, laughing. The patient was amazing. She just had a bunch of jokes that she was saying. She couldn't keep a straight face, which is what I wanted. So I was always prepared to grab another shot. 
shoot as fast as I could. Um, we have really, really harsh light. It's about 10 a.m. here. Um, really good backlight behind, but if you notice, we have some trees behind her. If you saw her little uh, Captain Morgan pose right there. Um, we have trees behind her, which I'm using to hide the sun. Um, posing her a little bit here to kind of get her, her, her into an angle that I need. And again, I'm still going very commercial, so I'm using um, maybe the top of that fountain, shooting through the trees to the hospital in the back. If you weren't from Reno, you would have no idea where this location is, and that's exactly what I wanted. But the people that go here that are looking at the book would know exactly where this is. Um, amazing plaza right side of the hospital. And this is just the area behind them. Uh, again, I'm using the tree now. I'm getting more green. Um, shooting her straight on, just a nice headshot. I'm using a 50 mil Sigma 1.4, super sharp, super awesome. Shooting at f2 again to blur, blur out that back and to focus on my, my, uh, my subject. Today. Originally, I thought it was a ceremony, um, but it's just a bridal shoot and it's at a park. Um, Washoe County, we have to have a permit to shoot um, if you have the intent to sell, and you have to get a permit. So, I haven't had one in like two years. Um, simply for the reason that nobody enforces it. I used to buy one. The first three years, I bought one every year. It's only 150 a year, it's not, it's not much. But um, every time I go, nobody would ask me for it. Um, simple as that. But today, since I don't know if it's a bridal shoot or a ceremony, I don't want to take the risk of uh, not being able to shoot them or causing a scene or something like that. So I'm going to buy one today. So I will be legit for one whole year. And I hope they ask me for it. I hope. Um, yeah, so that's where we're headed now. So this is our second shoot of the day. Um, this is a fitness shoot at a local gym um, that my client here attends. So we got permission from the gym. Um, and actually the gym owner uh, is amazing, Cami Craig Fitness. If you're in the Reno Sparks area, you should know her already. If not, look her up. But she uh, she's a good friend of mine. I used to work out with her. Great, great, great. Um, but she has a full gym. Tons of gear. And um, uh, my client here really wanted to do a fitness shoot. So um, keeping it very simple here, my gear this time was um, my Einstein setup. So I have a Paul C. Buff Octobox right there that I'm moving. Um, I have my inner diffusion panel, not my outer diffusion, so there's one level of diffusion to contrast the light. And I'm shooting everything now, I want to say at like f6.3, um, just an even around number. I'm, I'm not too worried about the, uh, the background as this, I'm, I'm darkening all the backdrops, uh, all the backdrop up um, or down if you will, so I'm making everything dark in the back. I'm keeping myself low away from the mirror. Um, while I have my client doing, uh, my client's name is Melissa, so while I have Melissa doing some tricep dips here just to get her definition, she goes down and grabbing each shot. So right now I actually have two lights. You can't see the other light. It's another Einstein with a reflector and a grid, um, a 30 degree grid hitting her on her right shoulder. So we're getting a little bit of a rim light. Um, my trick here is to, to leave my client in one spot and move my lighting accordingly. If I can leave my lighting in the same areas, that's exactly what I would do. 
This not only helps with the flow of my shoot itself, since I'm by myself and I don't have to move my lighting, but also my editing as well. So I can batch edit everything as far as highlights, contrasts, and then go in and do my detail edits after that on the images that I keep. This lets me visually see what I want to keep more. If you guys want any um, more info on editing, just comment below and let me know. Um, I find myself in this pose a lot. I'm always just <laughs> down on one knee, two knees, grabbing my shots. Uh, taking three or five shots, chimping a lot to make sure I'm getting what I want. Um, chimp. Everybody chimp. Don't worry about not chimping. Uh, chimping, if you don't know, is when you take a shot, look down at your camera, you look like a, a monkey, look, you know, looking down at your stuff. Do it. You have to know what you're getting. As you can tell, I don't light meter. Um, I never have. There's nothing wrong with using light meter. There's nothing wrong without using a light meter. It's just I don't do it, so I get, I get my stuff dialed in pretty easily. We now guide into the natural light port, so, uh, portion of the shoot. Um, second outfit, I'm using this awesome garage. This is kind of a giant flex space warehouse, so this garage is up. You can tell the light that's pushing in. Obviously with my camera angle, um, it's you know, kind of hard to focus on it. But right now we're just kind of playing with her clothing, making sure everything looks good. Um, she wanted to focus a lot on back shots, so you're going to see a lot of back shot stuff on this. And I'm back to my 50 mil 1.2 Sigma, um, 1.4 sorry and just grabbing some amazing shots, um, looking through the camera, grabbing a shot, posing her as I go. I always at least grab one or two shots before I repose, even if I don't like the pose, just in case I get something that I can use later that I may not see at the time. And once I get her in the pose, I move around. Um, it's so important that I'm doing a lot of moving, changing my angles, getting low, getting high, and not standing straight up and grabbing the shot from my eye level, which I see a lot of photographers do when I watch them. They just kind of stick at one level. And that really kind of limits your images per se. And you know, just going down and shooting up on somebody is gonna change the whole feel of an image. It makes it a little more epic. So playing around with that, we have digital shoot extra, see what you can rock off. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys kind of watch the rest of this. Pretty simple, just playing with one technical, technically one light. I have the, uh, the, the tungsten light of the building coming in as well, but um, I'm, I'm focusing and exposing more for that light on the outside. We're at the last part of Melissa's shoot here, using a two light setup that I'm using the whole time. Um, our main light's coming from the Octobox, the Einstein, and I have my rim light that I'm gonna go touch right now with a reflector and a 30 degree grid. Kinda left everything the same. Uh, this is gonna con create a really contrasty two light setup. I am hiding 
below her, so I'm looking straight into the mirror, but I'm being covered by her body, so you can't see me when, when I'm shooting. Mirrors are my enemy, um, but it looks super, super cool. So right now I have her kind of working and posing, going up and down, contract, um, contracting her muscles. Really, really simple, fun stuff. Nothing too fancy about it, so I'm gonna let you guys watch that. here at Bartley Ranch last shoot of the day and then we got to go pick up the girls so we have a good hour or so um, so they're driving down should be behind me somewhere um, Bartley Ranch is awesome because now I have a photography permit that I've always had um, so at the photography permit place we have a lot of photographers in Reno 
there's probably like 20 permits that people have purchased. And I promise you more than 20 people have shot at these parks. Um, looks like that's them. More will commence in a second. It's important, it's important. So the last shoot of the day, this was probably the funnest shoot, super easy. Um, I just mesh well with couples. I think shooting two people together and then of course shooting individuals is just really easy. So this location is called Bartley Ranch. It's in Reno. Um, it's a Washoe Park, part of Washoe County Park. Um, in the last scene I kind of talked about getting a permit and guess what? Nobody checked us for a permit. So we have to spend $150 a year to shoot any park, which is totally fine. Um, as long as money goes to maintain it, I'm sure it does. Um, the problem is, is that only a few of us actually purchase it. So um, when I went to purchase mine before, earlier there was a sign that says we have moved. Well, they moved locations and I was ended up, I got there late, went to my next shoot late and blah, blah, blah. But um, nobody checked our stuff. And that's kind of my pet peeve with it. If I'm going to get a permit um, and spend the money, then, you know, check it, enforce it, use it to the best benefit they can. When I was there, um, she pulled out all the permits um, just to make sure that I didn't have a permit active. I, I don't remember the last time I purchased a permit um, because I, I lost the paper. So it's within the last year. And she pulled, there was only like 10 10 permits in Reno. We have a lot of photographers in Reno. Um, and, you know, uh, ho hopefully when they moved, maybe they lost some or they misplaced it. But anyways, amazing couple. Um, how I kind of worked it is I, I shot just my bride. They got married the day before um, at Bartley Ranch as well. And this was their bridal shoot, um, which is just the two of them, which I love. Very intimate, very special, um, very westerny for the both of them. As you can tell, her dress is short with the cowboy boots. He's wearing this awesome um, like leather vest. It was warm. We were all a little hot. Um, I'm always a little hot wearing a hat. I don't know. I, I just I tend to get really hot when I shoot. But just doing some really cool portraits with that Laro feed sign. Um, I think that's kind of a staple of Bartley Ranch. Anytime I see any pictures, we know exactly where it is. So getting some really cool stuff. I have them in full shade. Um, backlit, technically, but there's no sun hitting them at all. And just kind of playing. Shooting, playing, talking, laughing, kind of joking. Just making the shoot not stale. Um, going from shot to shot. playing with their hair, I mean, you know, uh, it's, you just have to make sure that, that you do everything you can for your client, and the whole uh, let's Photoshop later doesn't exist in my vocab. So I take care of their hair, we're playing with it. This whole shoot, um, the groom was actually joking about his wife's hair, basically saying that every, every time she looks at an image, she focuses on her hair, so that got me paranoid about her hair. So I, I worked on her hair a lot, I, I touched it, I made sure it was good out of her face. Um, this next shot, I love doing this, walking shots. People feel natural, they laugh, they look natural. Um, so I just have them walk, walk, look at each other, do it a couple times, shoot as fast as I can, shoot and pray this. And we usually get a couple shots. These in black and white are amazing. And just getting low and shooting up again, not staying stale. This is right behind the area where we're just shooting, all within the same area. I believe the city uses these for all of their like landscaping stuff. Um, and they have locks on and everything. And I think there's like a car in one of them um, that they pull out for events. But shooting my dude, I mean, he's just, you know, posed down, looking good, feeling good. Just grabbing some shots of him. Um, I'm shooting through that little bush right there, talking and shooting and playing and hanging out, telling little stories. Um, I need to get in the habit. Although I don't run out of time ever, I notice when I talk and tell stories, I just stop shooting. And it's not a bad thing, but you want to be continuous. You want to keep working so that if your client is getting bored, they're not bored because of you. Um, this shoot was an hour long. We ended up shooting for a total of about 45 minutes, and at the end they kind of thanked me for that. You know, the, the it's all about the bride on this, and the groom's like, no, that's perfect. They actually... Since they got married the day before, they came down for the shoot the next day, and then after our shoot, they actually went back up to Tahoe to, to continue their quote-unquote weekend honeymoon. Um, really, really awesome. So now I'm just kind of shooting the bride, just, just telling stories. Um, you're going to see this, and the next scene we're going to shoot um, behind this building right here, and then we're walking. 
But other than that, um, pretty pretty awesome. One man shooting, Canon 5D Mark III Sigma lenses. Um, when I when I my bag right there, the Ona bag, I put a uh, 50 millimeter 1.4 Sigma, a 35 millimeter 1.4 Sigma, and an 85 Canon L 1.2. And those are my three portrait lenses that I use with every shoot that I do. I tend not to use anything else, um, and I kind of like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe, share, tell peeps about me. I'm going to keep making videos. And just so you all know, this is my very second video. So I apologize for any of the ums or anything that's that's weird. I'm, I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, but this day, obviously, I shot three shoots in one um, within like a, a four-hour period and uh, ran all over town. But um, I'm, I'm super happy with everything that I got. And I am back to work. Thank you so much. We are done shooting for the day. 
Um, I am hot. It was a hot day. It was really good though. Uh, last couple was awesome. Um, kind of simple to the point. They got married yesterday. So we shot today, so there was no ceremony like I originally thought. Um, I kind of knew that going into it, but um, I didn't kind of read back the emails. So we, I feel good. I feel good about today. Three shoots in one day, which means I have to edit a lot fast to catch up. Um, but that's kind of how the business is. So Thursdays I get to work until three or so. So I'm gonna pick up the ladies and then kind of get the rest of the day off to just uh, edit, chill, <laughs> chill, edit, um, do whatever I need. Um, but it's kind of nice being done, you know, at 2.15, 2.20 now, uh, shooting for the day, go home, upload. Thanks for watching.